Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Needle Ninja with a little series of how I do the things. So today will be the part where I will show you how I end my threads. So please enjoy. Okay, so today I will demonstrate the four ways of how I end the thread. The first will be the pin stitch, as I showed you in the latest video, how I start the thread. The second one be will be uh, hiding the thread under the stitches. The third one will be loop end and the last one will be, I'll be showing you how I end my thread on my Heaven and Earth design or any other full coverage project. So, start with the pin stitch. Okay, so pin stitch. This is my last cross I already did. Let's do one more. And my thread is already short, so I'm going to end it by pulling the thread under like three or four rows. And as I told you in the previous videos, there, there are uh, vertical and horizontal lines in a fabric. So I will choose the vertical one here and I'll stick my needle between two lower holes. Pull the needle up and I'll punch my needle, let me do it with the right hand, in the middle of the four holes, okay, like that, pull the thread, come out between the two holes on the top, and push the needle down again in the same spot in the middle between the four holes. And there is your pin stitch, there is the vertical line. You can do exactly the same with the horizontal one. And then just pull your thread in any hole and snip it. Done. The next way of how to end the thread will be by hiding it under the stitches. So let me do my last stitch. And this method is good for uh, smaller counts of fabric if you're stitching over one. And so this is my last X and actually you can go anywhere you like. Okay, for example, let's go here. You stick your needle in the hole, any hole. Then pull, no pull, hide your needle under the stitches like this. For me it's best way to work vertical and after going after uh, under two or three stitches you just push your needle down through the fabric so now it's actually my needle is sticking out the, from the back of the fabric and push it down. The best way to do this is not best way to do this but if you can hide the thread under the same colors of stitches. If your fabric is showing a little bit, that's the perfect way. And as you can see, there's no more. You cannot see the thread there and it's perfectly anchored. And then just come out with your needle anywhere close. Pull it out and snip. Okay ready for a loop end. Let me make my last cross. I use this method. It's kind of fun. I use this method especially when I'm stitching on a stiff fabric and it's really difficult to do a pin stitch, full pin stitch. And this is really good way for uh, stitchers who like to mm, double check if they're uh, thread is really anchored so when you start to do your last stitch you do your first leg and before ending your second leg you make loop so it means you stick your needle in the same hole twice 
then come up with your needle and push your needle through that loop and it makes a loop you can stick your needle either way but I will go to the same hole so this is the first part of anchoring your thread but I don't think this will not get loose so that's why I'm securing it with a half stitch half pin stitch like two or three rows under or around stick your needle between two holes and in the middle of the four holes push and you don't have to complete the full pin stitch because this is already okay and snip wasn't it fun loop end i like it this is fun Okay, and last part I want to show you, it's how I end my thread on the full coverage projects. In this case, this is my Heaven and Earth design project and I'm stitching in a half stitches and all of these threads I'm holding are the park threads and all of these threads laying here are the end threads. So let's say this one, this thread. is the last stitch let me get closer okay. so let's stitch it so just a half stitch and then I go under like one grid which means like which means like 10 lines and pull the thread under and you can just cut your thread right here now I think it will be I'm sure it will be covered by the other stitches but in my case I do this diagonal line through the three holes I'm sure you can do vertical but I like it this way more and just come out pull your thread it's, it's good and you can just snip it I snip it like five centimeters so I can always pull on it if this thread goes loose okay so yes that's it for today did you like it did you learn something new if yes please write me a message I love to read your comments and hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please stay safe and I know there is a many ways there are many ways of how to end or start your thread doesn't matter there is no wrong or right way just use the way makes you your stitching more comfortable and because this beautiful hobby it should be relaxing and it should make your mind peaceful so yeah stay safe and See you soon. Bye.